Marcus Lattimore is in class and back in town and people are wondering what's his job. Well, one thing that I know for sure that he's passionate about is telling his story and talking to the youth and dealing with the youth and, and really just enlightening them on their, their, their academics, their eligibility and different things like that. And today they were down at the uh, center and just speaking with the kids. 20 uh, schools from the state of South Carolina they spoke to. Just an amazing event. We were there from about 9.30 till about 2.30. And here I was broke down. I just want the students in there to know that, I mean, it's so much more than sports. Say one. Which one of you is Marcus Saban today? I knew that all the things that I did from high school to college, it propelled me to where I am now. Because that one that he's saving, can be the one that's standing up there in the next 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. saving another one. It's something I'm passionate about, and it's something that, you know, I've experienced, something Sheldon's experienced, Tory, and um, it was so good to hear those guys speak, especially one of my heroes, Sheldon Brown. Mm -hmm. I just thought be tough. That's the way it is. He was on top of the world, and he really, he don't have to give back, you know. I think it's, uh, it's tremendous for him to show the youth and the kids that, you know, the world's not over. Even though, you know, things didn't work out for me in the National Football League, I learned and I understand how to deal with adversity. Don't just be grateful that your child finished high school. Push them to be the greatest student they will ever be. The kids learned today that the jobs that they are applying for, uh, not only are they competing with the next person sitting beside them, but they're competing with people in China, Japan. You know, they're competing globally for that same job. We just want to give it out to, uh, you know, some of the other kids in the state. Um, we want to give our kids in this state a step ahead of what's out there. Hard work, it doesn't go unseen, you know, and I can really appreciate the effort that goes into setting up an event like this. It's great when people in the limelight and the stature such as he can show the youth that style. But if you prepare yourself, still work hard, go get that dream. If you prepare yourself, you'll be fine without the game. Well, Marcus did inform us that he was making all A's and doing well in school, and plus he'll be doing some uh, work helping out the running backs at spring practice. I want to thank Yolanda and Vernon and Marcus for allowing us to be a part of the VIP lunch today where we're the only media allowed in that particular function. So thank you very much. Well, that's going to do it for sports. Enjoy this beautiful Wednesday morning.